Even though, uh, what I've been thinking about a while ago, um, it suddenly got brought to my attention again recently. I was watching the uh, DJ Magazine's Game Changers series again. And um, one, of the, one of the tunes that they were talking about was Dean Marriott talking about his remix of uh, Body Rocks, yeah, yeah. And how, you know, the original, it was some piece of crap. And what he did ended up being the big hit. Uh, everyone copied it, but the fact is, he only got paid like 500 quid to do it. And when it got re released with his remix, because it was doing so well in the clubs. And he was like, oh well, surely like this new version, which has barely got any vocals in, is like is part written by me. So can I get in on the uh, writing credits to get some royalties, ask cap money or whatever, whatever. Anyway, they said no because they'd officially written the song. You know that they made like <laughs> singles off the back of that and loads of money on touring. He got his measly 500 quid doing the remix. So what I was thinking about again, because I think about this often, is um, especially in the 90s, pop music, um, would it have done so well if it hadn't have been for the remixes on the B side? I've got some, I'll pull some examples out here, because, you know, just uh, whatever. Right, exhibit A, D Ream, things can only get better. I mean, I know Al, Mc Al McKenzie, the main producer, he, you know, is a house DJ, also obviously a producer, he did other projects apart from D-Ream. But, um, you know, I, I know the single, the pop radio edit itself was popular, but I want to know that percentage of people who bought it for, like, what, the Development Corporation, Cleveland City Mixers. I mean, I, I never played the original, you know, the single version. It was all about... Uh, Cleveland City Euro style mix or the uh, Superfly Development Vocal Development Corporation. So you know they're strutting around on top of the pops like, woo yeah, we're like we're awesome. Check us out. But really, <laughs> how many people actually liked the you know the radio edit? And same goes for every. If anyone who knows me knows I'm not a fan of M people. Exhibit B, M people, open your heart. Right, now what have we got here? We've got mixes from uh, Armour Van Helden, Fire Island, I think. Uh, Roach Motel. Yeah, Brothers in Rhythm. And uh, my favourite, the Love Dub Dub. Now, like, some of these versions were so big in the club. So, all these DJs and clubbers, were they buying this they want to play in the club or they or was they buying it to play the shitty radio edit with Heather Small's horrible vocals on it. I don't know which version I was like, like I was saying, it's a loved up dub, which has got like <laughs> one line from her singing in it. It's nothing to do with and people, it's a loved up tune. But, you know. He's gonna see Louise, all that matters, uh, DJ Tonka mix, Cass Rock vocal, Hex Hector. I mean Tonka mix was the one for me. Uh, exhibit D, Garbage, When I Grow Up, Danny Tanaglia, I mean, you know, that was a big tune, it was on Gate Crash of Red as well, like, big tune. Like, I know Garbage were like a, a known good band, uh, Louise, she was probably popular, but like, you know, I noticed these things on Louise, M People, obviously d -Ream, loads of other 90s acts, uh, Mary J Blige as well. Um, and a lot of other R&B artists have pulled some here. Mariah Carey, Fantasy, Morales, Death Club Mix. Some reason got big again last summer. The Real McCoy, Armour Van Helden Mixers. I'm guessing a lot of boy for that. Facey, Drunk on Love, some strange song. Roger Sanchez Mix, most people probably boy for that. Donna Allen, Real. I know she's like a classic singer, you know, but um, David Morales versions. Who cares about the R&B one? It's awful. Maria Rowe, Sexual. Uh, Alicia Warren, I Thought I Meant the World to You. On the B-side is I Pray. Roger Sanchez, the Gospel Revival mix. Absolutely amazing. Like, who bought it for the crappy R&B cut on the A-side? Anybody? No. Paula Abdul, 
Milo Mr. Real, E-Smooth mixes, it's got Strike mix on the other side, and funny enough Strike completely ripped this off about a year later and brought out their own song called Milo Mr. Real. But you know, it, it makes me think like, M people in particular, like, strutting around on stage like they're all that, it's like, well, <laughs> do people actually like your music? Or are you only like, doing these TV shows because you sold a lot of records? And CDs, whatever, um, because of the remixes. You know, I'd, obviously they're they're part of a package that helps sell the item. Otherwise, they wouldn't bother with it. You know, they, you can't just like have a one-song CD and expect it to sell like they did in the noughties. It's just a waste of time. But um, you know, the, it, it goes on forever. All these artists who who used to do it, like all of Louise's singles, have got. Remixes, Dubstar, like a lot of R&B songs from the 90s, like, you know, 93, 94, 95, it was like a thing, like house remixes, R&B tunes. And even like indie bands back in the day, I mean, obviously it's still carried on to like, to now it's still going on. Um, prime example is LaRue in for the kill. Who was it that did that? Was it Scream? Or was it, I don't know. Hey, it was some remix and it was like, Sampling the arm and break, and it was it was that version that everyone liked. No, no one cared about the single version. Yeah, she's there on Jonathan Ross or whatever doing like the single version. Way well done. It's like, well, people who watch TV, basic bastards, or like, you know, people who aren't into underground music, they might like it. I'm just interested to know about you know the percentages of like the sales and who bought it for what. Like this Paul Abdul one, for example. Strike, two strike mixes, East Move, Junior Vasquez on the record. There ain't even like the actual R&B or whatever it was, pop song on it. You know what I mean? So obviously they count towards single sales. So like, do, do these people who <laughs> strut around singing the crappy songs on like TV shows, do they have a right to be so arrogant when really it's the record label who's saying, right, here, here, listen mate, you do as a remix, that'll help us sell some. Um, and it's them who's doing all the work. Like I say, like the uh, M People one, that is the dub, that is the good one. You know, there's no vocals in it. And it's the same for a lot of others. I don't know, it's, it's just something I was thinking about, so I thought I'd see if anyone's got any thoughts on it or whatever. I could go forever with a long list, you know, but, but then other ones, they've sort of come into their own right, like um, example of Nightcrawlers push the feeling on. That's what it looked like originally, it was some, some band, you know, whatever, I don't know. And this one's got the MK Nocturnal dub, MK's Deep Dawn mix, but it was all about this guitar band. Uh, you know, like, the next year or whatever, it's to full frequency, MK mixes, woo! So that got released in its own right. Um, you know, the, the lead singer was like singing one line on the video or whatever. Year after that, like, MK mixes for 95. No sign of the original whatsoever, you know. Uh, and then it's been, that one's been released like a trillion times, like so many times. And you never, never hear anything from the original apart from that like two lines that like MK sampled from like his first remix of it. So like that became its own thing. Now like, I'd be intrigued to know about MK's cut on the writing, you know, because listen, like, he wrote that shit. He sampled like four seconds of vocals from the original and made a whole new tune. But yeah, a Nightcrawler's and the record label, like, getting more than their fair share of the cut is MK still getting screwed, because, like, let's be honest, every single remix has been since then and now has been loads. It's been based on the MK remix. I don't know. I mean, I could go. Off. I could look around and I could pick out hundreds of records that are the same. But uh, yeah, yeah, I'd be interested to know your thoughts on it. If anyone has any.